Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Just come out of Old Trafford. This is my post-match review. Ah, it feels like two separate feelings. The first 25 minutes was so positive. I had so much nervous energy. I was shaking with excitement because we were playing so well and it looked so good. But I said to Glenn, who I was sitting next to, if you don't score when you're on top, you're going to get punished, and we got punished. It was a poor goal to concede, but I'll tell you what, I'm not going to have a go at Carl Walker about it. I think to get himself back in that position was fantastic, and he was just unlucky. I've not seen a replay of it, but I hear it's an own goal. Rooney was lucky in that situation. Apart from that, United didn't have a chance, really, I have to say. Uh, they, they kept control of the ball after we conceded that goal for about 25, 30 minutes. But I'll tell you what, they just they weren't very good. I don't think they were very good. I don't think they were any better than Spurs. I come out of here feeling pretty positive about things, I have to say. Obviously, it'll be different in the next couple of home games when we've got to come out and beat those teams that come and play 10 behind the ball against us. And that wasn't what was happening today. But we looked incredibly organized. I think Mopo got it right. But again, we come away from Old Trafford with nothing. We haven't won here in a couple of years. And we just don't seem to have the pace at the moment to hit teams on the counter-attack. That's what I think. Uh, in terms of uh, performances, like I said, I think Walker did well, really well. He had Ashley Young in his pocket. Vaughan didn't have much to do. Ben Davis looked great. Alderweireld and Jan looked really solid at the back. I think they're going to be a great partnership. What I'd say for Alderweireld is he was trying a lot of, uh, a lot of long kind of sweeping crossfield balls and they weren't really coming off. And I think that's more because he wasn't getting enough coming from defensive midfield. Ben Taleb, he looked tired. He played both those games in preseason the other day against um, Munich and Real Madrid, and it looked like a mistake. Dyer isn't a central midfielder, I don't think. So they weren't coming to get the ball enough off all the viral. So that was a problem. Chadley, I like. I think Chadley might well have a good season this season. Ericsson, we've got to get him on the ball more. He can make things happen. Chance he had in the first 10, 15 minutes. Kane played a beautiful, luscious chip ball over the top, and Ericsson took it down beautifully and then just chipped over the keeper. That would have changed the game completely. But anyway, no negatives for me, really. It's a shame we lost the game 1-0, but it's a tough place to come, especially on first day of the season, especially when you're trying to bed in players and just let the youth have a chance like we were. So what I'm going to say is it's all positive for me. Next few games, I think we can get those points, get up the table, and feel positive about being a Spurs fan and about how this season is going to go. Let me know what you think of my opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV, and we'll see you at YR Lane for the next game. Come on, you Spurs. And I'm going to give you a little preview of how I think we're going to do this season and what we need to see and what we like and what we want. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start by talking about our new sign.